Hey and welcome back to The Revolution and a brand new WWE 2K24 video. Last night, WWE 2K unveiled the annual teaser for this year's DLC with several female superstars seemingly being teased as part of the fun little mystery puzzle. To be sure you don't miss out on any of our WWE 2K24 content, hit that bell icon and subscribe to the channel. You can also head on over to our official website www.revolution.com for all the latest women's wrestling news and so much more. In recent years, there have been around seven female superstars when it comes to DLC packs, with the likes of Stacey Keebler, Eve Torres and NXT superstars joining the mix, so I imagine we will get something similar this year, but the more the merrier, as they say. Now, before I start breaking down what I think the teasers could mean for some of the women superstars, bear in mind this is all just a little bit of fun, and I could be completely wrong, but rest assured there are a handful that I am 100% sure on. So where do we start? Now, as soon as I saw the poster, my eyes were instantly drawn to a set of pearl beads, and there is only one place I've seen them a million times over. These have to belong to none other than Tori Wilson, who had the very same beads as part of her iconic Titan Tron. Tori Wilson is long overdue a return to the WWE video game series, especially now that some of her greatest allies and rivals are in the series, like Stacey Keebler, who also returned back in 2K22. Tori last appeared in WWE SmackDown vs Raw 2008, and I would love nothing more than to see her finally join the mix of female superstars. We know Pharaoh's joining WWE 2K24, so who knows, maybe Chloe will too as part of Tori's entrance. In my ideal world, there'd also be a Chloe payback moment, which either sees a Chloe stink face or Chloe randomly running through the ring to distract an opponent. But let's face it, that's probably taking it a little bit too far. Seeing as we've started with the beads and the possible inclusion of Tori Wilson, if you look just above the beads, you can clearly see Nia Jax's irresistible force logo. Many of us speculated that Nia would indeed return to the series as part of DLC for this year's game and after returning to WWE in September last year, so it's awesome to see that finally confirmed. Nia has been on one hell of a run since returning, so I can't wait to see Nia in this year's game and squash the entire WWE 2K24 roster. Nia last appeared in WWE 2K22, so it'll be interesting to see the difference between that iteration of Nia and the one we get this year. Just to the left of Nia's logo, it looks as though we may see Jade Cargill join this year's roster thanks to what looks to be a piece of Jade. Before joining WWE last year, Cargill was a part of AEW's Fight Forever video game, with Jade now jumping the fence to join WWE and WWE 2K24. If I had to guess, I imagine that Jade might be one of the final packs of WWE 2K24 to allow Jade to appear on WWE TV a few more times first, with only a handful of backstage segments and a spot in the Women's Royal Rumble from earlier this month. After having such a great presence and showing at the Royal Rumble, I can't wait to see how Jade will look in WWE 2K24 if she's indeed a part of this year's DLC. Underneath the Jade Storm, there looks to be a huge moon, which could be none other than Ember Moon. Kidding, just kidding. Whilst I would love nothing more than to see Ember Moon join the 2K series again one day, that won't happen anytime soon, with Ember now in AW under the name Athena. Instead, the only other female superstar I can think of that the moon could represent is Luna. In last year's DLC teaser, there were several hints to what looked to be Luna, so unless this is another gag, surely we will see Luna join this year's game? As a huge fan of Luna and everything she brought to women's wrestling, I would love nothing more than to see Luna finally join the 2K series, having not appeared in a WWE video game since 1994 in WWF Raw. A little more to the left, it looks as though we have our first and possibly only NXT female superstar for this year's DLC, thanks to what appears to be a raven feather, which could only mean Lyra Valkyria. I won't lie, I was really surprised to see Lyra not make the cut in the base game of WWE 2K24, so it's awesome to see that Lyra looks to be joining this year's game thanks to DLC. Not having the NXT Women's Champion is a big miss on the roster, so hopefully she joins the game in one of the earliest packs to help keep the game more up to date. Moving away from Lyra and the right hand side of the photo, we move all the way to what looks to be a woman performing aerobics. Now, of course, whilst the image is of a woman, it doesn't necessarily mean that this has to be a reference to a female superstar and could be something to do with aerobics or even working out. The first person I thought of was none other than WrestleMania 1 superstar Wendy Richter. I've said it time and time again how I would love to see Wendy join the 2K series and I honestly had my heart set on her to be included in the 40 years of WrestleMania showcase. 
in recent years, Wendy has been included in the likes of WWE Supercard and WWE Champions, so he's hoping WWE 2K24 is the next on her list. Sticking with Wendy for just a moment, even if we move on to another clue, just overlapping Wendy, we have a microphone on a stand. Originally, my first thought was that the microphone had to be for CM Punk, but CM Punk didn't use a microphone on a stand, and she only WWE in 2K could have just used a standard microphone image. Then my mind exploded just a little, and I thought, well, maybe in a dream scenario it could be Jillian. As we all know, Jillian used to love to sing, even if the WWE Universe hated it, and I kind of just wanted it really bad. I would love nothing more than to see Jillian join the series, but I can't see this being it on this occasion. It wasn't until I got to thinking earlier this morning after Elimination Chamber, maybe the microphone could be tied to Wendy Richter, with another musical artist joining WWE 2K24 alongside Post Malone and Bad Bunny. During her time in WWE, Wendy Richter made her entrance to the iconic Girls Just Wanna Have Fun by none other than Wendy's manager and Rody, Cindy Lauper. As a big fan of this iconic duo, it would absolutely make my year to see both Cindy and Wendy reunited, especially in a WWE 2K video game. For the last few years, I've voiced my opinion time and time again that Cindy should be in the WWE Hall of Fame after her contributions to the Rock and Wrestling Connection, which helped make WrestleMania what it is to this very day. If Cindy is included, I imagine it would be likely as a manager only, but hey, I would take Playboy Cindy any day and have her stick it to the heel managers time and time again. I could honestly sit here and talk about my love for both Cindy and Wendy for hours on end, but I'd better move on, not only to stop rambling, but also so I don't get my hopes up too high. Just below the woman performing the aerobics, we have a picture of a boat helm, which can only mean one thing. Kyrie Sane returns in WWE 2K24. I honestly didn't think Kyrie would make the cut in WWE 2K24, even as DLC, after only just returning to WWE back in November, so consider me happy and consider me hyped. As a big fan of the Kabuki Warriors, I hope that not only do we see a dark pirate version of Kyrie, but also a tag team entrance for the Kabuki Warriors after seeing both Kyrie and Asuka reunite as women's tag team champions. Kyrie last appeared in WWE 2K20 before departing WWE to return to the independent scene in Japan. WWE 2K24 sees Zelina Vega have her very own chancla weapon, so maybe we'll see Kyrie get her very own weapon in the form of the Wagasa she uses as part of her entrance. Last, and by certainly no means least, just to the left of the helm, we have the classic WWE Women's Championship, which, well, has me stumped. My initial instant reaction was Alundra Blaze after Alundra T's returning to the 2K series, after last appearing in WWE 2K19 and Battlegrounds. Then I realised that Alundra never held that version of the WWE Women's Championship, so surely that can't be right? It doesn't mean it's incorrect, but it'd be an odd way to hint at the former women's champion. With so many former WWE women's champions, there could be an endless list of possibilities, with the likes of Ivory, Michelle McCool, Melina, Mickey James, Jacqueline, just to name a few. The last female superstar to ever hold the classic WWE Women's Championship was one half of Layla Cool, Layla, who last appeared in WWE 2K16 before departing WWE. I would love to see someone like Victoria return to the WWE series after last appearing in SmackDown vs Raw 2009, but it's too hard to say logistically who the title could be referencing, so I don't want to throw out too many random names and build up anyone's hopes. So those are what we make of the clues in the WWE 2K24 DLC tease, and if we are correct, it looks as though we may see Tori Wilson, Nia Jax, Jade, Lyra Valkyria, Kyrie Sin, and maybe, but less likely, Wendy Richter, Cindy Lauper, and Luna. There's also the hint at WWE Women's Champion, but unless it's Layla, it could literally be anybody in my eyes. So what do you make of the DLC teasers in the poster? Are we hitting the nail on the head or are we way off and seeing things that really aren't there? Let us know in the comments below who you think made the cut as DLC for WWE 2K24 and who you would like to see in the game next. To be sure you don't miss out on any of our upcoming WWE 2K24 content, hit that bell icon and subscribe to the channel. You can also head over to our official website www.revolution.com for all the latest women's wrestling news and so much more. Until next time, I've been The Revolution and I'm off to see if I can find more clues.